and i'm feeling exactly the way i did my first press conference in 1990 when i scored my first international 100 until then this concept of press conference i had no idea about so i actually ended up asking lot of guys in the dressing room ki kya karna hai wahan ja ke kya puchhenge and there were guys who also scared me ki bahut sare sawal karenge wohi experience yahan pe mehsoos kar raha hu uh this is special first of all thank you so very much for this kind of response and over the last 24 years that i played for india the kind of love that you showered upon me and the way you supported me and that's what you know we we've, we've kind of covered so this this movie is again you know it's not not just about my cricket but also there are lot many other uh other factors uh, other uh, chapters in my life and uh, that is something which which we want to show everyone uh, i know gentlemen we are used to standing ovations when sachin comes but we can all <laughs> Sachin, the question I wanted to ask you was: This is your debut on the big screen. I mean, obviously, this is a little different from uh, Vakar Yunus and uh, Vas Vasim Akram in Pakistan, 1989. This is different. What do you think about that part of being on big screen for the first time? Well, I never thought, first of all, that something like this is going to happen in my life. All I wanted to do as a child was to pick up a cricket bat, play cricket for India, and. Chase my dream. My dream started when I was only ten. I wanted to win the World Cup for India, hold that trophy, and I started playing cricket. And along the way, you know, a lot many things happened in my life, but they were all real. There were no retakes, and everything happened in front of the whole world. So we could not actually say if something went wrong. Okay, let's plan and do it again. That was in the next match, but that match was done. If you were out, it was over. So everything happened there and then. one had to be prepared for all the adversities one had to be prepared to face all those challenges there were some incredible moments and that is something you know we've uh, been able to capture when well, i never thought something like this is going to happen in my life i'm really really excited because it's it's a it's a new experience for me to work with uh, james who's, who's who's had so much experience and uh, has has uh, shown a different side of me i feel you know which which not many guys have seen you know people have people have seen me play cricket and few other interactions but there are a lot more things in my movie uh, ravi has been a good friend and uh, a huge huge supporter that's an understatement thank so thank you so very much ravi obviously shrikant and anil both have uh, supported and then the way you responded to ravi ravi has been keeping me updated about everything so a big thank you to you it's just an overwhelming feeling that you know i'm able to do this and uh, hope people like but when a movie happens and so many new research angles come in and they come and talk to you do you find out things about yourself you didn't know I get to know a lot of things, you know. I don't want to reveal everything here. <laughs> Please understand that. But uh, there are a lot of things, and then they have been captured on camera because, like, I've met a couple of people. You will see in the movie that I didn't know. I didn't know all those things, and I wondered, oh, how do they do all this? Uh, all of us have a such in moment. I was talking about the fact that you are like a calendar. Everybody says that. Yeah, us time was that. Then my time was that. is there a such in moment distinct in your life that you remember 24 years that there is that no is there is no toss up there it's world cup finals you know there is no toss up there i don't think there is a greater cricketing moment for me in my life without any doubt that sits right at the top uh just two three days ago i was traveling with my daughter she came to watch the ipl match and i asked her this question do you remember how that evening it was 2nd of april she said that you know the whole the whole of mumbai and india i mean she could speak about mumbai but it was just incredible feeling and then it took us hours to get back to the hotel from one kd stadium to taj hotel it took us hours the whole country went berserk and and uh, that is one moment 
I want to live for. And that was one moment which changed my life in 1983 when I saw Kapil Dev uh, holding that beautiful trophy. That was the moment. And then I was chasing my dream, ch trying to get to that moment. And when eventually it happened, I don't think uh, anything gets better than that in life. But Abhi, when you first went to him with the idea, were you scared? I still get scared sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> first year... Look, look at his size. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, Joel Gana bowling to Sachin. <laughs> first couple of years, it's like you're breathing the same air, so you're digesting the fact that you're breathing the same air as him. Still feel that, but I think it's, it's settling slowly. <laughs> but Sachin, was he a decent cricketer? I mean, have, have you played against him? No, he bowled, I saw. The other day, I... We've practiced, <laughs> we've practiced few sessions together and my son also keeps telling me that he, he's got good bounce. I said, you better have because... Six feet nine inches. inches. <laughs> Natural bounce. My last question to you, Sachin. Um, you, I've known you for some time and you've always come across as somebody who's a private person. And when you put your life on celluloid and you put it out there, it's a little bit of a conflict sometimes that, you know, how much should I share? Uh, this is not me. Did, how did you deal with that? 